to the studio. Today we are going to move on to um, an assignment that is actually explained on page 24 of your sketchbook. So getting out your sketchbook, if you would follow along with me, I'm going to walk you through the assignment and show you some really great examples that students have done. First of all, you'll hear me refer to this assignment as sketchbook tw page 24, four quadrants with three lifelike objects in each quadrant. So to get started, step one is to take your drawing paper, that is a big sheet of paper, and fold it in four quadrants. Matching corners, a nice press right there. Matching corners. A nice press right here. And then it's important that you label it correctly so you get full credit on it. So, opening up You are welcome to draw a line if you wish. You don't have to if you do not want to, but I would like it labeled correctly. So the first thing you're gonna do is your first and last name. So write your first and your last name. And the second thing, if you would write what class period you're in. So that would be step one. Now we're going to go ahead and label our quadrants. So our first quadrant right here will be square and or rectangle. Our next quadrant will be circle and or oval. Our third one will be cylinder And our fourth one will be triangle. And or mirrored. Wall. So this will be your page set up. Now what you will do is in each section, you are going to draw three lifelike objects that are made out of that specific shape. So in this section here, you're going to draw square and or rectangle objects, three of them. So it could be one square object and then two rectangle. This quadrant, you're going to draw three objects total, circles and ovals. Could be two ovals and one circle. You could mix it up. This quadrant here are cylinders. And this quadrant here are triangle. Those objects are a little bit harder to think of or to come up with. Um, mirrored wall, which means like when the, the sides go in this way, um, those objects could go here as well. So you will notice on page 24 of your sketchbook that I have put a bunch of possible items that you could pick from in each under each quadrant. Now, this is not a complete list and you don't even have to pick off this list. In fact, 
you may have better ideas that you would rather draw. But what I would like you to draw and use value and shading, texture, and detail in all of your objects. So if you have three objects in four quadrants, you will have a total of 12 objects on this paper. Shaded, detailed, textured. Now, before we actually go, I want to show you some really wonderful examples that I have that represent different quadrants. So here are some circle ovals. Really nice. A globe. Okay. The grapes. The balls. And this is taken off of several um, students' work. Really great shading, really great detail. I'm going to show you a completed assignment here. I've laminated them so there's kind of a shine. I apologize for that. But if you notice in this quadrant of rectangles and squares, they have dice, a deck of cards, and a pizza box. In the cylinders, they have a can of cocoa, a teacup, and a cake. In the triangles, they have an ice cream cone, a pyramid, and a party hat. Love the little detail on the party hat. On the circles and ovals, a volleyball, a basketball, a tennis. So details are what make an object. And to identify a ball, you identify it by the size and, of course, the lines. Going on, here's another example. Keep in mind that you have drawn every, you've drawn all of these shapes and different items in these shapes. So let's start down here in the triangle. We have the great ice cream cone. We have a witch's hat and we have candy kisses. In the cylinders, we have a cut tree, a table, and it looks like a cylinder container of some sort. The circles, a peach, ovals, grapes, and a globe. Really, really nice detail on that globe. On the square rectangle, an aquarium, a box of fish food, and a, bo a, a box of plant food. Notice the great details. You will also notice on Google Classroom, um, on the, under this assignment, I have posted really pictures of really great examples as well. Here are some samples of a variety of students have done for triangles. The pyramid which you've already done, the ice cream cone, the cone, the traffic cone. This is excellent slice of cake and a big copper teapot. Notice it fits the triangle because of these mirrored walls, the side walls. There's another great example. And that is a planter box, a book, and a vase in a rectangular shape, the cylinders, a teacup, a jewel box with a lid, and a candle holder with a candle. A witch's hat. Notice the fun little detail they did here with the web and the spider. A a bottle of potion, and another type of hat that actually I think I've seen in Disneyland. In the circles and ovals, a globe, a snow globe, and an apple. Notice that really what does it and what makes some of these so great is the shading. And I could go on and on 
show you a few more examples. Here is a stack of books, okay. a actual library sign, and a bookcase, cylinders, a great muffin, candle, teacup. Again, we have party hats. This is some great detail and design in the birthday party hat with the circles and the lettering. Um, clocks, balloons, grapes again. So if you would like to reference some examples, feel free to um, reference those under the listed assignment. Here is one with some really fabulous dark shading, had the guts to really put some contrast in it. And again, some triangles, a mountain, this great pie, slice of pie, um, traffic cone, the circles. The detail in this coconut is just awesome. It almost makes it look like it's got the rough shell. A little kiwi fruit and a pineapple, which is the oval. There's squares, the Rubik's Cube, which has been turned, a, a dice, and it looks like maybe an electronic box with the cord coming out. So again, you're going to refer to the sketchbook if you need some ideas. Keep in mind that you have drawn in your sketchbook a lot of these different items. And um, the biggest thing now is to really detail and shade. Your items can be independent in each quadrant. So when I say independent, I mean your items can be, here's one item, another, and another. They don't actually touch or make a picture. Or they can group. All of the items here are independent. Love the shading on the candy kisses, um, the Chinese takeout box, some really great ideas. Or you can put your ideas, as this student did, in kind of a picture or a composition. We'll be talking more about composition um, later.